for the upper and lower. Yeah, and it should be fine. So let's let's leave this like this. You don't want to get too nitpicky in the corner because if you get two in the corner, then you're screwed. Yeah, let's leave this like this. All right. We need to go and make our, let's do save. We need to make another joint. This is going to be our joint um, for the corner upper lip for the right side. So let's do joint. This is going to the head. And we're going to do mouth, upper, right corner. And then create. Let's select our controller here, get our snippet tool, grab our values. And let's just plot this in or yeah, 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 yeah. Let's plot this in and we can worry about doing the rotation later and matching up to the other one. Yeah, let's do that. Cause we just wanted to, is the topology the same? I think it is. Yeah, it is. We could just do the other. I was going to say we can just select this one and just put those values and then flip it, but let's just keep this simple. So let's put in those values that we have, which is a negative 1.09, 3 to 4, 173.155. I'm, I'm using the, the values from the snippet tool of the, um, the controller I had selected that's going to be next to it. Um, this one was... 175.64, we have to do 6.671, All right, so this matches. Let's um, move this down here. And then let's just grab the values on this and see how much of, an, of a difference there is and what we can conform or make the same to get the identical results but flipped. All right, so this one is, it looks like this could be a negative, negative 2.198. And I'm getting these values from selecting this controller and then making sure my negative values or positive values are set correctly for this controller. So let's go back and keep plotting that out. So negative 10, let's put this one back at negative 10.35. This one is 72, 872, so it's a little off. So let's do 172.872. Um, X axis is 11.666, so that's, um, 175. So let's do our math on there. So let's get our calculator out. And we need to do 180 minus what this oops, what this old value was, which is what we would have been using. Um, and it's 175. Uh, let me see if that works out the same 175.264. And it's four something instead of 11. 666. Hmm. Interesting. These values are also huge down here, too. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let me do some rotations manually and see what this gets the number closer to. And then we can see what we might want to change it to. So I rotate this like this so it matches. I think we want to bring it down a little bit more too. Yeah. And rotate. So we're going to rotate this this way. Bring it in. Bring it down and over. 
thing can rotate a little bit more. I don't know. But why? All right, let's see what these values are over here. So this one's 11, 6, 6. Okay, well this the ones we have saved on our snippet tool. Hmm. All right, let me see some right quick. So I think I put in the wrong, the wrong value. So let's do that again. Let's do 180 minus 11.666. All right, that looks right. 168. So this should be 168, 168.334. All right, there we go. Um, and the next one should be 180. Ooh, 180. Let me see. That looks pretty good. I think it's. I think that's all we have to worry about. To be honest, everything else is matching for our position, and our rotation is the same. Let's check and see. Maybe these values don't need to be that extreme because we have like a negative 230 so let's do 180 oops press the wrong buttons on the wrong thing save the file be careful about just typing in stuff I might have just changed some stuff but we'll see so let's go back to our calculator that's what I want to do uh, I was getting ready to type in 180 minus and then the number I want to minus was 126.09 and it gives you 53. Let's type that in here. Let's copy this first. But then let's type in 53.91. That is not what you want. Mm. All right. Let's just paste that back. I think this is I think this is fine how it is. I think it's close. Very close. So that works. That works. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I like that. So let's save that. Now we're going to do bottom lip. The bottom lip is going to be to the jaw. So what you'll see is that um, when you move your jaw like this, uh, these move with your jaw. So you don't want these to the head. If you put these to the head, you're going to get this. Um, and then you're going to have to counter animate the lips to go with the jaw motion. And you're going to have a nightmare. You're just going to, you're not going to want to do the work. You're not going to want to do it. So we're going to attach to the jaw. It'll move as expected, which is, uh, and then you can start to conform it more. So you go, uh, and then, uh, 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 uh. so you can get really nice articulation. <laughs> Mouth does some crazy things, man. Uh, so when we start doing our capturing reference, you'll see more of that. All right, let's jump back into getting, we're almost done. Um, we may or may not have cheat controls. We can put some in there. We'll put one on each side. Uh, just for shits and giggles and then we need to rig up the tongue so we can move the tongue i believe there is a tongue in this model let's look right quick and see all right let's look and see let's go to our wireframe mode and then save our file let's see where the tongue is at yeah i think i see one in there yeah it's right here um Here's our tongue right here. There we go. So there's our tongue. So we need to rig that up too. We'll just have um, a three bone setup. Yeah. We'll have a three bone setup in there. We'll do a joint that is <coughs> 
towards the back so that we can start. That's going to be what we use to move the tongue in and out of the mouth. And then we'll have like another bone in the mid middle. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was about to say that word weird. In the middle and one at the tip. So then we can get like uh, all that articulation doing that. Um, you should be able to twist it too. This will be blended pretty well uh, when we start blending it. The tongue is going to be simple to, to rig. Now, it, it's different if you're trying to do like your tongue where you can like splay it more where it's like and it looks really flat or, or it looks really pointy. If you're going to do that, most of the times you don't have a scale that you can use. And you're probably going to just have to put joints around the outside where you can like push and pull. We're not going to get that detailed with this. Um, there's nothing that says you can't do it, but we're not going to get that detailed with it. So let's... Let's get back on to the bottom lip, and then we will uh, add something for the tongue. We'll add a row for the teeth as well, um, just in case we want to move the teeth. But I don't think we're going to want to move the teeth. But we'll add a controller in it just in case. You never know. You never know. And for those cheeks, I think we're going to add uh, we're going to add one right here. So we can do like a puff cheek. So we can do that to it. We can pull it out a little bit more here. And then we can have a, a controller up here that'll be more for raising the cheekbone for doing this stuff. For doing that type of stuff right here. Oops. Um, so yeah, so let's go back. Turn this back to object mode. Save our file. And what we want to do is go back to our joints and we want to have this to the jaw. So really look over here for, I think it's joint jaw. There you go. And we want to call this mouth lower C. Um, let's look in our list to s make sure that's how we named the other one. I don't think these are in order. Yeah, okay. Mouth lower C. There we go. Uh, and it is to the jaw. Just select it right here. Create. All right, and now let's move this up. Let's make this exactly the same as the center one that we have, and then we'll just move it down and rotate it in its respective orientation. We can actually do that with all of these um, so we don't have to guess too much. So let's uh, select our center from our upper. Let's grab our snippet tool, and let's grab our values. Select this, and let's just plot in those values. Um, that did not go to the same spot. Ha ha ha, we can't do that interesting all right so what we will do is all right we can't do that because it's different it's not to the head that's why all right that's good to, to keep in mind so we have it in the orientation it's just not in the same spot because it is to the jaw and even the the global scale is different. So what I've noticed from how this works is that it'll take your global scale based off of the parent. So based off of your parent joint, any joint that is a child of that. So like we did a 0 0.03, which should have been consistent, you would think, but it's not because our jaw is scaled differently than what our head joint is. So a 0 0.03 reacts differently for our global scale on the child joint. There you go. So Let's just, uh, we have it in the orientation, everything that we want, but we're going to just have to manually pr place this for now. And then we're going to want to do like what we did for the upper lip, the same thing for the lower lip. So let's go back here and we press F to center around it. Bring it over here to the mouth. Let's go back to our front view. Again, I'm hitting spacebar to do that, to go switching between screens. 